It's taken months of preparation. We're finally here in the Clinton Auditorium in UCD. In a few short minutes, those tables over there will play host to 21 teams, battling it out for the title of champion of Siemens Robo Rugby 2009. The objective is simple. In order to win, a robot has to put more balls in their opponent's in-goal area or scoring zone than a rival robot puts in theirs. So it looks like Team Morpheus has a strategy which relies more on the bump sensors and a set pattern that it goes on. Looks like you can see the robots themselves are made of Lego. Uh, they've got like electronics built into them. It's a pretty limited kit set, so the students be quite creative in what they design. They're relatively small devices, and they have to essentially, using what's reasonably limited technology, create one that's smart enough to essentially beat its opponents that are there. And of course, most importantly, they have some really creative names here, like multiple scoregasms. Drives. Last week we spoke with Team Diabotical, which is a team on the left with the orange flag. After a good start, the side came unstuck against the impressive Three Guys and One Robot. Three Guys used a sort of bridge on wheels to block its scoring zone. This wall, coupled with a technical failure, ended Diabotical's run in this year's competition. Diabotical has actually lifted up the white ball here, so both these robots employ the same strategy. Unfortunately, Diabotical is now coming up on the wall, its wheel is spinning. One spinning all the line. Getting very tense here. You can see yourself in the students. There's a bit of laughter, there's a bit of excitement. But I suppose, most of all, it's uncertainty that's in the air. But sure, are you confident? For all the points, it would be okay. If not, it's still much better. We'll see how they get on. After a shaky start, it soon became apparent that McLovin was the team to beat. The jolly Roger Bearing bot had a simple Route 1 technique, which opponents found difficult to live with. McLovin will be the victors by the simple fact that it's removed all the balls from its own goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Team Botball in the groin was brimming with confidence before the event, but a late charge by Robo Sapiens ended its involvement in the tournament. There was some success for Botball, however, as the team won the Darius Award for Most Innovative Robot. It's come down to this, the final for 2009. McLovin has said it's bludgeoned its way through all competition against three guys, one robot. A simple tactic, a big bridge, but will it be enough to take on the Jolly Roger of McLovin? Let's find out right now. On the right. Three guys in Hobart on the left. You okay, Chen? Get right in there. Okay, we're in business. Go. Oh, it's charging out, taking balls out of the fence. But now it's pushing. Now the heave comes. Now it's down to can three guys turn McLovin. At the moment, it's not looking good for three guys. The score is now zero to zero. It's a question of where is the red ball? Now, three guys, one robot has yet to okay, yet Now it's switched, it's trying to drive forward, backward, forward, backward. It's trying to drive forward, three guys, but it just is, can't can it do push it. McLovin back? It has to get the it red It needs ball. to get a heave on. It's just stuck over here on that this side. Is just, this is just dogged, dogged, aggressive defense from McLovin. Zero, it's zero, not zero, letting final. any movement come at all right, from now, three guys, one robot. Right now it's McLovin which will be the victor. Uh, it looks like it will the be. moment it's going to be McLovin. It looks like McLovin. We're in the final 10 seconds. This crowd is getting tense. It looks like McLovin is going to claim the title. It's blood to this way through the competition. It's got the title. McLovin is your champion of 2009. You can still hear the celebrations in the background. McLovin are the champions for 2009 in Siemens Robo Rugby. Right here in the Clinton Auditorium, we had a lot of drama tonight, but in the end, it was simple bludgeoning go-ahead rugby that won the day. For Villa 81 and ENN, I'm Emmett Ryan.